Long empty walls, hooks with no paintings, descriptions that refer to long forgotten pieces of art. Welcome to Ramoma, formerly East Africa's premier modern art gallery, a victim of the economic downturn and a sign that Kenya's art scene is suffering. It shut at the end of last year. This is final exhibit. We don't have a uh, good places where we can show our artworks as artists and I think it was the only best place for the artists in East Africa where you could show your work and uh, uh, free of course. Michael Soy's art is sold all over the world. His pieces document Kenya's political struggles with politicians portrayed by cats as symbols of selfishness and pigs as symbols of greed. But he sells most of his work directly from his studio or through Facebook. In a country the size of Kenya and the amount of artists that are working in this country, I mean I think we need to have a national gallery, we need to have more galleries, we need to have spaces that basically look at art from a perspective of it being a profession to some of us. Michael's studio is at an art commune called the Kuona Trust. Next door, Cyrus Kabiru makes these weird and wonderful sunglasses each pair unique, each with its own story. He's exhibiting in Europe and the US later this year. On the other side is Dennis Muruguri, who updates traditional African masks with recycled material and sells them for hundreds of dollars. Both success stories, but if it wasn't for the space they're given here, few would see their work in Nairobi. One exhibition space is Gallery Wutatu, in existence for over 40 years. It is where East Africa's premier artists show their work, but it's difficult for a new artist to exhibit here. If you are a younger person and you are starting, I would say it's tough. You really have to work hard. You really have to be exceptionally talented to be able to come above the parapet. Modern artists in Kenya are facing an uphill battle to get their work out to the wider world. And although some are making a name for themselves, without more space to exhibit here, many more will continue to struggle.